All right, this is Gabe Betzhoken with MotorcycleDaily.com and City Bike Magazines. I ride motorcycles so you don't have to. And I'm here with a very special motorcycle today, the Ninja 300, the Kawasaki Ninja 300. This is a 2013 model and I just spent all day riding it. And I'm very excited about this motorcycle and I want to tell you why. Uh, there are a lot of changes over the 2012 Ninja 250R, um, including, uh, but not limited to, uh, a lot of changes here in the engine compartment. Now what they did is they stroked the motor, added capacity, added about 20% more horsepower. So now it's at 39 horsepower um, claimed at the crank and uh, that's good for about 32, 33, maybe 34 at the wheel. This motorcycle is good for a genuine GPS verified 103 plus miles per hour ideal conditions. I can imagine it getting to 105 or faster. Um, that it was of course done in closed uh, course testing uh, with this journalist riding it. Now um, other changes include an all new chassis. It's, it's uh, got, you can't see, the, see it, but uh, the, the frame has uh, new tubes, uh, wider, uh, heavier, thicker, um, uh, strong enough that they can uh, rubber mount the engine. Uh, suspension rates, spring rates, and have all been recalibrated. Um, also, there's the addition of ABS for this uh, special edition model, which is about $5,500 in the United States. The, um, and, uh, so that's, and then the uh, non-ABS version is about $4,700. So big bump in price over last year's model, but you do get a lot more. You get a lot more. You get a wider back tire. You get that, that revamped uh, chassis. You get a slipper clutch, what's called the FCC slipper clutch. And uh, that has uh, two functions. One, it, it, there's a light clutch assist for new riders and other riders who want a smoother clutch action that's easier to shift gears. And there's also a um, uh, the slipper clutch function where, of course, you can bang a few downshifts in a row without worrying about uh, locking your rear tire. So this is a great feature for racers and also for new riders. The uh, styling has been completely redone. I mean, you would swear this is a 8 tenths replica of a Ninja ZX-10R. Um, and that the tank is new and the plastic is new. Uh, you have a new instrument cluster with some new features. Uh, there's an eco. I don't know if you saw that. There's an eco meter. Um, that uh, lets you know when you're operating the motorcycle most economically. Uh, fuel consumption is improved this year. I saw about 50 miles per gallon um, and we were riding pretty hard. I think the uh, old 250 would have done five or six miles per gallon less uh, when you're riding on a twisty road and you have that throttle open, mo wide open most of the time. Um, you can see it's got the dual headlamps in common with the rest of the Ninja family. And uh, all the styling changes added up make this a really great looking bike. Uh, I liked everything about this bike except the brakes. Uh, they still feel inexpensive. Uh, the suspension still feels inexpensive. But this is an inexpensive bike. However, this is an inexpensive motorcycle that can be ridden hard, that can be ridden like a much larger bike and is entertaining for all skill levels of riders. So a new rider, what that means is that a new rider is not going to get bored with this bike for a while. Uh, and an experienced rider can get this bike as a fun, uh, just twisty road, back road bike, a fun commuter, um, or a race bike, or a racetrack bike, and uh, really work on their skills. Um, it's, it's forgiving, it's super easy to ride, and it handles great because it's not the lightest bike in the world, but it feels a lot lighter than it is because of that little tiny motor, that little tiny crankshaft. And uh, it, it steers quickly and it's also stable. There's a little longer wheelbase this year in addition to about four more pounds of weight. Um, but you don't notice it and it's just a really a good time to ride. Uh, you know, I know there's going to be people responding to this video saying that I have a Canada model and I saw 130 miles per hour on my speedometer and blah, blah, blah. Well, whatever. Until I see GPS verified results, um, this motorcycle is good for 100 plus miles an hour, which is 10 plus miles an hour over the last year's model. And that's a big jump for such a small displacement motorcycle. So, uh, Gabe Betzhoken for Motorcycle Daily. 
uh, and City Bike Magazine, and I really like this Ninja 300, and you should check it out.